Is there a storage connection type to rule them all on your retro PC? In today's video, we're going to find out. Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So uh, yesterday I was digging around in my parts looking for video ideas and I found a bunch of SCSI controllers and uh, I also found my disk on module and this uh, compact flash to uh, IDE adapter and it got me thinking uh, for my Windows 98 machine what actually is the fastest storage that I can have on this so today we're going to use uh, this uh, slot one system it's uh, an i 440BX uh, chipset. It's got a Pentium 3 500 and uh, in it already I've got a SCSI card and um, everything else will just be on board. So the HyperDisk is uh, IDE, the Compact Flash is also IDE, and I'm going to do an IDE drive. So what I'll end up doing here is uh, let's get it all, in, let's get all the drives installed. Um, I'm going to use um, one or two pieces of benchmarking software, and let's find out uh, once and for all, what is the fastest storage device for a Windows 98 retro PC? Okay, let's uh, do some benchmarking on these drives here. So we'll start with disk C. There's actually two partitions on the boot drive. Uh, partition one is a FAT16, partition two is uh, FAT32, and this is the disk on module device. So let's go ahead and hit this one here. Okay, so uh, overall score, or uh, sorry, max read, uh, 29.86. And we've got an overall score of 16107. I'll just leave the 0.9 out of it. Okay, let's do drive G. And let's see if there's a difference between FAT16 and FAT32. Hmm, okay, so I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, it stopped doing uh, random reads on drive G for some reason. Um, I'll mark it anyway, but something seems odd there. So 21.84 and uh, overall score of uh, 2490. I don't know what happened. Uh, why did it stop doing that? All right, let's do uh, the SD card. Okay, so the max read on the SD card. 26.87 overall score 72.35 oops okay let's do the IDE drive which is drive E Interesting. Okay, so here we have, uh, actually this should say uh, HDD. We have a max read of uh, 29.74. However, our overall score is uh, 522. I'm assuming this disk on module and the SD card can handle, uh, have much higher IOPS than the uh, than the IDE drive. 
Interesting, though. Okay. Let's do the SCSI drive, uh, currently connected to an Adaptec 2940UW controller. So we'll do SCSI drive F. Okay, that's actually surprising. I thought for some reason the SCSI would be a lot better performance than this. So we got 11.92 megabyte per second and an overall score of 160. Interesting. Uh, okay, I'm going to uh, shut down the computer and I'm going to install this uh, other controller. It's actually a uh, Dell Perk 3 card, uh, and I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see if it uh, gives us any better performance. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We have the uh, that Dell Perk 3 card installed. Uh, this is the this is the drive drive F. Let's see if it actually does anything different. Um, between that uh, Adaptech 2940. Let's do it. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> that absolutely tanked crazy. So two point seven eight megabytes per second with an overall score of 262 it's weird how it has an overall score higher than i'm not sure what uh what they're using to come up with this number interesting i wonder should i do because this q logic card is actually it's actually a raid card and i currently only have one drive should we cheat should I do a SCSI, uh, we'll just call it QLogic RAID? What do you think? Maybe we'll do a RAID 0, see uh, what happens here. Let me uh, get another hard drive installed, and um, I'll go into the, into the RAID um, setup utility and uh, configure a RAID 0. I'll be back. Okay, we're back. So we have a RAID 0 SCSI uh, volume set up here, which is drive F. Let's just have a look here and see if RAID 0 performs a little bit better than uh, just the single drive, especially on this uh, QLogic RAID here. Let's give her a go. Well, this is um, interesting and surprising. I would have thought that a RAID 0 would have done a bit better. We ended up with a 3.45. Um, I don't know. I guess, I, I guess maybe I expected it to double. This is also uh, FAT32. And we got an overall score of... 235 that is interesting all right just for something to do i uh i ran uh crystal disc mark on uh this partition here the fat 32 disc on module the one that that uh, didn't didn't seem to run the read test uh and i compared it against the ide hard drive because these two are pretty similar actually other than the overall score um, on paper the disk on module and the ide hard drive are quite similar uh, but i will tell you subjectively the disk on module 
outperforms the IDE, the IDE hard drive hands down in any way that you want to slice it. Uh, Windows load time, game boot times, or uh, game load times, you name it. Um, I think the disk on module is far superior than uh, any of these. All right, well, there you have it. Seems like the disk on module is the clear winner. Uh, it's definitely the one I'm going to stick with. And with that, this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you in the next one.